Hello everyone and welcome to Full Stack Devlogs. In this video, we will be discussing that how we can use the Node-RED runtime, the Node-RED editor, which is a low coding platform uh, where we can just drag and drop these beautiful nodes and get our things done just with this uh, simple click. And today we will see how we can leverage TensorFlow library uh, using Node-RED. So our use case will be that we will be using a TensorFlow.js node to recognize an image. So we will start by actually installing the node for TensorFlow.js which we will be using today in this video. So let's go to the manage palette section. Let's go to the install tab and write Node-RED Contrib TensorFlow. We will install this first one. Just click on install. After installing, we will see these four nodes uh, which are from TensorFlow Contrib. And we will be able to see its basic details from here. The node to identify objects in an image. This is the node to detect fingers in a hand. This is the node to classify images with mobile net and this is the node to estimate human pose. So today we will be using the first uh, node which is about identifying objects in an image. So let's begin. Apart from those TensorFlow nodes, we will also need uh, one node uh, which I have installed and I will show you what is that. I need some uh, nodes for preview of images. And I didn't had any uh, such node already installed or pre-installed in the node editor. So what I took is you can see here this node red contrib uh, image output. You see this here. So this is the one node I'm talking about. And we will see it installed here. It's called the image node simple image output node useful for previewing results of face detection object recognition etc now you would be getting what we are about to do so before doing anything let's rename this node to something meaningful and we will call it object detection and whatever flow you will see here i will push it to the git repository i'm connected to uh, to see how to push to a git repository uh, please watch my previous videos I will provide the link in the description and uh, let's see now what we are about to do so let's get one file inject node first we will be using this node to inject the file uh, the image that we want to detect uh, that we want to analyze and detect the object in it next uh, let's go to the analysis category all the tensorflow nodes and we will use this one for identifying objects in an image let's just drag and drop it here and now uh, the basic thing that we need a debug node to understand the output next uh, uh, when we are injecting a file and when it is getting analyzed we want to see uh, the step by step uh, we want to debug it step by step that what image we gave and what image it analyzed so for that we will use the image preview node so we will debug it at two steps first when we inject the file and then when uh, the tensorflow analyzes the file and generates the payload we want to see what uh, was the file that it generated after its analysis because it will add tags to the file. One more important thing that this message.payload, uh, do remember this will not contain the actual image. For image, the property is annotated input. So we will just double click the image preview node and change the payload with annotated input and then we can just deploy this here now let's try 
so if i click on file inject on image detection i have like i have all a collection of uh, photos uh, that i want to demonstrate here so let's try with this one okay so it detected an image with the truck and it gave me the option truck gave me the answer as truck which is getting displayed by this message dot payload let's try some other example this is a bus and let's see it, if it's able to detect it as a bus yes it's a bus then this is an image from a restaurant where I went recently and there is some plate of you pick of utensils let's see what it responds with here we see it says it's a bowl which is almost correct yes it's correct then let's try this animal which is a lion actually and let's see what it's telling us about this image and see and the best part here it's a lion and it says it's a dog which suddenly means that the model which is behind which is actually behind this node that model is not trained enough and we can see what model is being used behind and we can also take that model and train that model more so that uh, with more lion images so that it's better able to distinguish between a dog and a lion let's try something else let's try this flower I, I'm sure it will it's very easy and it will understand its flower it says it's a vase and obviously it's a bit wrong uh, okay let's try this train image that I have yes uh, it says it's a train and finally with an airplane I want to see if it says it's an airplane or not oh yes it says it's an airplane and it's able to detect the object correctly and tag it as an airplane by this time you would have observe one issue or if not I will direct your focus to that that you will see that in all the retrials and all the examples that we took uh, we are getting the image preview only after it is getting analyzed and not here the reason being here is that we are using annotated input here and instead of that here we have to keep it as the payload because annotated input is the property uh, which uh, which is created by tensorflow so image preview uh, after file injection uh, will be visible from the payload so let's uh, click on deploy and try any image again let's take the aeroplane again and we will see the aeroplane here first what we inject and then let's see it after analysis so after analysis it's aeroplane and it's tagged like this you see the difference so that's all that we were missing previously thank you so much for watching the content till the end if you think this content is meaningful and if you have enjoyed watching it uh, please do share it uh, with a meaningful crowd and please subscribe to this channel and motivate me uh, by liking this video I hope to see you again uh, and share whatever knowledge I am able to 